Hi there, Green Thumb Gardener here. So here we're showing an artichoke plant. And this artichoke plant just about, I mean, it flowered, so it's a little bit past the time that you want to eat it. Uh, if you look in the center here, you could see where uh, now the center hasn't really opened up yet. On here, it's starting to open up a little bit. Uh, you can see there it's a little more open than the other one. And then uh, after it opens up enough, then this is what comes out of it. And when you wait that long to, to pick it to eat the fruit, then it could be a little tough. So you want to pick it a little bit before then. And uh, that's just about right. And uh, yeah, this is a great plant to eat if you have any, if you have acidosis, it helps reduce the acid in your body and helps make it more alkaline. Uh, it also attracts a lot of beneficial insects. I've seen, uh, you know, some, a lot of ladybugs on it and I also saw some wasps. Wasps are also good in the garden. Uh, they eat insects. Uh, and they don't really bother people. Uh, people and wasps, they have different, they don't go after the same things, so you don't really have a conflict with them. And then if you look down over here, you can see uh, some marking here on the stone. Uh, it looks like a, a sticky substance. It's a little shiny. And what that is, that's honeydew. And you could also see some ants over here too, uh, running on the honeydew. And uh, that's because what the ants are doing, they're milking aphids. So I'm gonna take this leaf here and I'm gonna turn it over and then we could look inside here and we could see the aphids. So a little bit of aphids are gonna happen and that's all right. Uh, there's a few things that you could do about it. If you are concerned about the amount of aphids, you know, you might have a heavy infestation. Um, and then over here, uh, there, here we have some scale, and uh, scale, uh, you, you could just pull those ones off. But the aphids, you could uh, use a few different things. You could also just uh, spray the whole underside of this leaf with uh, horticultural oil, and what that would do is it'll, you know, make contact with the aphids and the scale, and it will smother them and kill them. Just be careful when you're spraying it that you don't cover any beneficial insects because they help control the insect population. Also, what you could use is spinosad, which is a bacteria. And what that does, it basically kills all soft-bodied insects. So you have to be careful when you're using it around bees because it could also affect them. Uh, I, I use it when I spray apples for apple colleen moth and the apple colleen moth uh, you spray right after the petals fall off of the flower on the apple tree and that way the bees don't go there and, and die so yep here we have it some uh some artichokes there uh, nice ornamental it just came out uh it just started flowering on uh the fourth of july so we're just, just in time for the holiday here. Here we have a, a nice bee right here. He's sucking up all the pollen there, gathering it. So yeah, we give a lot of plants here to, that uh, help attract the beneficial insects. Like here we have a, a buckwheat gigantum, which is a giant buckwheat. And it has a bunch of um, umbel, the type of flower on it it comes up and then it has like a whole bunch of other other flowers on it and that's called an umbel and they're all true flowers so all right happy gardening